Hi, my name is Frank Schröder. I'm the author of Fabio, a fast modern zero conf load balancing HPS router for your microservices um, that are registered in console. Um, in this uh, screencast, I want to show you how Fabio works and what you have to do in order to make your services Fabio aware. Uh, Fabio is, was built in, uh, to support deploying microservices with uh, um, ideally zero configuration, so you just start it up and it works. Uh, um, if you want SSL termination, you will have to configure a certificate, but that's about it. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've written a small sample application which just provides a couple of HTTP endpoints um, that we will then query and route via Fabio. Um, we check uh, console. Right now we don't have any uh, services registered. So let's first get the application from uh, GitHub via go get. Go get GitHub. Check on air Fabio example phone and now we can run it Fabio example um, which will allow us to set a couple of parameters uh, so let's start it up with uh, um, one address on port 5000 and have it register prefixes uh, slash foo and slash bar. Uh, so before we do that, I will also start Fabio, um, which automatically connects to console on localhost 8500, which is the default port, and it starts watching for uh, um, registered services which have a green health check immediately. So as soon as we start the service up, it will register itself in console, and as soon as Fabio detects a state change, it will find all the entries in console which have a specific tag um, and will extract the prefix information from this. So let's see how um, Fabio does that. Um, when we look at the service Fabio example, we notice that it has uh, two additional tags re or two tags registered. The one is, and they, they both start with URL prefix dash, and then we find the information that we've provided on the command line. So when we query now the service, we can just do this either directly, localhost uh, port 5000 slash foo, we get a response, um, but we can also go via Fabio directly, which by default is listening in port 9999 for HTTP requests, and we get the same response, uh, same for bar. So let's start a second instance of the same service. Uh, so we do Fabio example dash ADDR 127.0.0.1.5001 prefix slash foo slash bar. Um, we see that um, the console, after the registration of the service in console, Fabio detected the change um, and updated the routing table almost immediately. We now have two entries um, per route here, um, so one for foo on port 5000, 5001, and another uh, a set of entries for slash bar also on port 5000, 5001. So when we query now this, uh, these endpoints, we'll see that we get responses from both endpoints. Um, and uh, Fabio initially, or by default, is using a random distribution of, this, uh, of the request, so that's why we're not seeing an even distribution between the services. So you can also set this to round robin in the configuration file. So the interesting thing here is that this doesn't necessarily have to be two instances of the same service, um, although this is probably the normal case. But we can just say um, this, we can call this service um, name other service and have it just slash uh, serve slash bar and let's say slash bang. So now we have one service that serves slash foo, uh, two services that serve slash bar and, and only one service again which serves slash bang, which is here also reflected in the routing table. Um, we can then see the same thing here in console. We have Fabio example and we have the other service, both have two URL prefixes, but there's only one overlap. So only when we query bar, uh, we get responses from both services. When we start querying bang, we only get responses from 5001. Uh, when we query foo, we only get responses from port 5000. So 
that concludes the, our short demonstration for Fabio. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching.